When it comes to dating and relationships, who is typically seen as the prize, the man or the woman? The woman. Ooh, the woman for sure. The woman. The woman. The woman. So if the woman is the prize, what would that make the man? The wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that place the man at a lower value and status to the woman? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Don't women typically want to date a man on her level or higher? Yeah. Yes. So don't women typically want to date a man who's a prize and not a loser? No, I like to be better. So if a woman declares herself the prize, isn't that relationship destined to fail? No. no. Not necessarily. It depends on who she's dating. If she's dating a guy who, you know, puts women on a pedestal and sees them as like the end-all be-all, then that's on them. And whatever works for them, as long as they're happy, they're happy. But, you know, a guy who knows his worth, they're not going to go for that. Well, if the woman is the prize, wouldn't that make the man a simp? Yes, and there are simps in this world. Like, if there are high-value men and other people who respect themselves. But do you think that women want to date a simp? Some women do. Some women want to be alpha and a boss bitch, you know? I mean, it depends on the, the male. If the male is like a beta, then he just going to suck it up and follow behind the female. But if he's an alpha, he going to be like, I'm not taking that. Because I think, actually, I know I'm a prize. And so I think that a man should value me for what I am. So why do so many women go around declaring themselves the prize? Because they have pussies. It's much harder to find a high-value man than it is an average woman. I can fuck any girl out here, but for her to find a man who has clout, status, money, influence, all that personality and whatnot, it's way harder. Who's funny, tall, six foot, physical specimen, it's way harder for her to find that. Why do so many women think they have the golden pussy when every woman has one? Entitlement. Name of the game. Straight up. Do you believe in gender equality? Absolutely. Yeah. How can men and women ever be equal if pussy costs more money than dick? I honestly don't think we will ever be equal. I think that that is a dream that we would love to have and that's something that we can pursue and fight for. But I don't truly think that we will ever be treated the same. I don't think that's possible. How likely will women pay for dick or make pussy free? They, I don't think they will ever have to pay for dick because I feel like men just always want it. So we could just get it whenever we want versus men can't necessarily get it whenever they want. So then what are we fighting for? Equal pay. Yeah. Men, we kind of just take advantage of women, you know, so it's kind of one of those things that like women should love their bodies, should do what they want with their bodies. And I mean, I guarantee you if you walk up to more men on this strip, they are more willing to fuck you than a woman would. Is it easier for women to sell sex than men? I mean, men could do gay porn. That makes hella money. Is it harder for a man to get the woman he wants into bed or for a woman to get the man she wants to commit? Harder for a man to get the woman he wants in bed. Most dudes are lame. They don't have game. They're not cool. They're not funny, smart, tall, handsome, all that shit. They don't have money. It's harder for them. A woman can fuck most dudes she wants to holler at woman to get the man she wants to commit, I would say. If women think men are trash, why are they so interested in getting his commitment? I mean, good. Maybe for security? A lot of these bitches don't be like feeling like they gotta be like wife material, baby. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Even if you do what you do in the streets, baby. Yeah, you do. You gotta cook, you gotta clean, you gotta do all that. You feel me? You gotta, uh, you gotta abide by your man's rules. You gotta bow down. You gotta do. You feel me? Like, I don't know. Like, it's a lot. Why will women often withhold sex when men have a stronger biological need for sex than women? That's their only way of power. That's how they can control relationships and sex. Should men withhold attention and resources when men are unhappy with women? Yes. Not all, but a lot of women will leverage sex over men, so is it fair for a man to leverage attention and resources over women? I don't think it's fair e either way. However, I do think that any, like, when it comes to sex that it should be a consensual thing regardless. So if someone doesn't want to, then they shouldn't have to, shouldn't be no matter what. Yeah. Either, or either it shouldn't way. feel pressured to. Yeah. Why do women pride themselves on manipulation as a skill when they already control what men want? Not all women have that ability. I mean, manipulation, I mean, I can do it, but like a woman, they have, they can, they can do about anything they want, you know? Because men are dumb enough to fucking pay for it, or men are dumb enough to do it. Right, but just like not all women can do it, not all men can afford to pay for it, or would pay for it, right? 
What is the best and the worst thing about being a woman? The best and the worst thing about being a woman? Okay. The best thing about being a woman is like, is like, is being a woman, I think. It's like being, like, yeah, I, I'm a woman and it's incredible. And the worst thing is like having to be afraid all the time walking around here alone or any place. Okay, is it realistic to think that nobody should ever feel unsafe? If it's realistic, I don't know, but it's like my my dream. Well, I mean, so, here's the thing, okay? Just yeah. because women feel uh, afraid all the time, does that mean they really have a right to be afraid all the time? Sure. When, well, at the same time, if a woman is attacked in public and a man is attacked in public, who is more likely to be rescued? I don't know. I think... I think... Sorry. <laughs> I guess you're afraid. <laughs> That's a post-trauma from my home. Do you think men are the biggest threat to women or are men the biggest protectors of women? It can go either way, yeah. honestly. I mean, it's the good men out there that want to protect, but then there's also bad men that want to do yeah. terrible things. For the person that's assaulting, there's also a good guy that's there to save. Yeah. But aren't most cops and soldiers men? Yes. yes. What percentage of men that you encounter catcall you? A lot. Uh, probably 85%. Like, oh. we were just touched, like, multiple times just walking. Some guy grabbed my nose about 20 minutes ago. It is a pretty nose, I will give you that. Thank you. Okay. Look at it from the side. <laughs> How often do you fear for your safety when a man catcalls you? 100%. All the time. Now, I'm not excusing it. Why is catcalling such a big deal? I think catcalling is such a big deal because I'm not out here dressed like this. You can give a little pan of the outfit. This is not for others' view. This is for me, and this is what I feel most comfortable in. This is not an invitation for you to come objectify me or decide that this body is meant for you. It's mine. Okay, and, and that's fair. I agree with that. Now, um, for a lot of women who say they dress for themselves, why do you often see women walking around in uncomfortable shoes and skimpy outfits when it's freezing outside? Because I made that money, and I'm going to spend that money on some cute heels, and I worked on this body, and I'm going to show it off. No, no, I get that, but I'm just saying if they were dressing for themselves, wouldn't they be comfortable? Yeah. I think that me in heels looks a lot better than me in just a pair of sweatpants. I do feel better, and that is still for me. Even if it's not the most comfortable, it feels good to me. If a woman has lots of sexy photos on her dating profile and no bio, should she be surprised if guys are only contacting her for hookups? Oh, absolutely no. not. No. Definitely <laughs> no. not. Why not? Because she's kind of asking for that attention. Is she not promoting herself in the same fashion if she's out walking the streets in a slutty outfit? No. No. So yeah. why, why would it make a difference if you're online or out in public? Because you're posting those photos for like a specific dating yeah. app while, while while you're walking outside, it's like how you want to dress. I dress this way because I want to dress this way for me and not for anyone else. And also, at least here, if you're going to a club, they have uh, dress codes and you have, you have to dress a certain way in order to get in and that is why we are dressed this way. So why can people make assumptions about you online but not in person? I think they can make assumptions about both, but online I feel like it kind of goes for more like what you post, because you can kind of choose what you want to post and what you don't want to post. Mm -hmm. Whereas in person, I guess you can choose what you want to wear and what you don't want to wear, but I don't know. Yeah. Why do you think women can't just ignore catcalling instead of just hating on all men? Uh, because when we, ca like, when we ignore catcalling, they don't stop. Like They'll just come up to us and like be more in our face and more aggressive when we do ignore them. I don't really think there's a way to win. There's been times when I can ignore it and they back off, or there's been times when I've confronted it and they back off, or vice versa. I don't say anything, I continue to get followed. I do say something, I put myself in even more danger. You really just have to gauge the situation and there really is no right answer to what to do. Is every time I go out, no matter how I look, someone is being inappropriate with me and that's when it becomes an issue because it is inappropriate. And I don't mind, like, like you say, inappropriate things happen every day like people either touching you or, or trying to get something from you but when it's I can imagine that's why celebrities struggle being a celebrity status because they are constantly hounded for attention and that's how I feel when a guy whistles at me right but but the fact that you bring up celebrities right if you ask a celebrity if you had to give up the idea of being famous in order to never ever deal with paparazzi would they give up the privilege of being famous Probably not. Would you give up the privilege of being sexy as fuck? <laughs> Does the way that you dress attract the type of attention you want? Not always. Not always. So is it fair to blame society or is it better to just change your own behavior? Probably 
I don't know. I would say that society is the reason that a lot of the problems that we see with dating uh, occur. However, I do think that there are ways for people to avoid them and or change their behavior accordingly. 100%. I take the steps to make myself feel safer. I carry weapons to be able to protect myself. I learn how to ward off that attention. I le I've learned how to gauge the body language of if I yell at this man for hitting on me, is he going to become dangerous or is he going to go away? I've learned how to understand that and figure out what to do in that situation. And, and one last question, which I think you just t touched upon. I ask, um, when does blaming society end and personal responsibility begin? whenever you're ready to accept it. I think it's everyone's timeline. I don't think it's, I'm gonna get off social media and realize that I'm the problem. I think everyone, a part of them is like, no, the world's against me. And so it's whenever you're ready to accept that. Yeah, yeah. You know what, in Israel, women are badasses. They can beat the shit out of guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm just saying, maybe, maybe, maybe more American women should serve in the army and they'll, know how, and they'll know how to defend themselves. Maybe more men needs to like, not be, Attacking. Well, I think we can do both. Maybe. I think we can do both. I don't condone the guys who do that. Fuck rid of a pussy! Ah! I can wear pants. I can wear a top that shows most of my body. And I continue to do so because of all the women who fought for that. Women got the right to vote 102 years ago. That's it. There are women older than that on this planet who were not able to legally vote for the leadership in this country. We do this for them. We wear this shit for them. We do what we want. We have sex with whoever we want for them because we are still continuing to fight every single day. I am constantly hit on at my place of employment, my professional place of employment. I am treated like a child or like a sex object every single day of my life. And I'm going to keep on fighting to make that not fucking happen or to make that so that I can feel safe being able to look as I do and to be as young as I am and go out and be completely safe. And I'm going to keep on fighting for that.